All right, so in the last video, I gave you some general idea on how this works, all right? But we still haven't even scratched the surface yet. So I, I told you in the last video that this index method will load everything once the page starts, right? So, of course, right now, if I save this the way it is, we will load in that controller, right? And I told you that I was going to show you how to load in extra methods. So I'm just going to say this is the test method for the view controller. You see, this foundation is very important for you to understand. Once you understand this foundation, then you can understand how the framework actually works a lot better than just jumping into a project like we were going to be doing in a later of this uh, course. But anyway. And that's, that would be probably in extra features. I don't know yet. Let's actually go to the next method. So how we go to the next method? Can we just type in test here and enter? Of course not. It's not going to find it. Why? Because we first need to type in the controller name. The controller name is welcome. Now, if we type in welcome, we don't get anything here. All right, why is that? Well, in Code Igniter, all right, before you type in anything, before you get into these controllers, you first need to type in the index. This is what gets loaded first, this index file. All right, so let's go here and type in CI, that's the name of our folder, that's what we are. All right, and let's actually go to the a welcome controller right here welcome.php which is inside application of course and inside controllers and right here just to make sure that you know where it is I'm gonna uncomment this out I'm gonna put this back to where it was save let's go to the default there you go now let's go to the controller welcome Right, but we it didn't work on the last lecture, so we need to go to index.php slash welcome. Enter. As you can see, it's the same thing. Why? Because, like I said, we need to type in the index.php and then the controller, which is the class, of course, which is a class of welcome. That's the controller name. And then, after the class name, then we can type in the method name. Enter. And now you can see that. All right. I hope you get an idea how this is work, how this works. So forget this. This always is default unless we change it, which we will change this index.php because I think it's not very nice to have this. But anyway, forget this and know that first comes the controller and then the method. All right. And you can look at the, look at this like the class of course and then the functions all right so this is how we are accessing this all right so if we go back to the controller we can see that the index method is loading this in that controller all right functionality perfect all right so now that we know how to use controllers all right and even create different methods inside those controllers. Let's go ahead and create a custom controller because right now what we're doing is we are actually using a the default controller welcome and we're not actually creating one. Let's create a the custom controller, all right? And create a view on the next lecture. Let's do that. Let's have some fun. Take care and I'll see you then.